。美国总统大选第二场辩论刚开场，川普和希拉蕊站得老远，不愿握手，气氛尴尬，相敬如宾。碰上川普失言风波发酵，主持人抓准时机，才第二个问题就展开猛烈攻势。I apologize to my family. I apologize to the American people. I have great respect for women. Nobody has more respect for women than I do. 川普失言风波过后，希拉蕊沉默一个礼拜，终于在辩论会一次爆发。And he has said that the video doesn't represent who he is, but I think it's clear to anyone who heard it that it represents exactly who he is. 希拉蕊火力全开，炮轰川普根本不适合当总统，而川普则反咬比尔·克林顿的性丑闻，重提希拉蕊电油门事件，甚至还说选上了要把希拉蕊送进监狱。It's just awfully good that someone. With the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'd be in jail. 还没选上，川普就先大放厥词，甚至还说希拉蕊是魔鬼。I was so surprised to see him sign on with the devil. 而希拉蕊也要川普向全美国人道歉。He never apologized for the racist lie that President Obama was not born. In the United States of America, he owes the president an apology. He owes our country an apology. 两人互踩对方痛点，互不相让，用词恶毒，堪称美国选举史上最丑陋辩论会。辩论主题从税务、健保到叙利亚人权问题，川普、希拉蕊从头缠斗到尾，炮火猛烈，直到最后一个民众发问：尊重对手哪一项优点？双方情绪才稍微缓和。I respect his children. His children are. Incredibly able and devoted, and I think that says a lot about Donald. She doesn't quit. She doesn't give up. I respect that. 辩论结束之后 ，CNN 民调显示，希拉蕊以百分之五十七领先川普的百分之三十四。第三场辩论将在十九号举办，届时双方候选人表现也会牵动选民投票意向。记者综合报道。